taped live before a studio audience. Good morning, everyone. Right. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Fan mail. Ooh. Ooh. Mona. Razor. Mm. Mona. Razor. Mona. 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 That's it. I win. Oh. Hi, lover. Mm-hmm. Two pills and something from Ed McMahon. Oh, right. Kirby. Mm-hmm. Knows anything different about me? Nope. The smell test. Ah. Oh, come on. Come on, doesn't this new perfume get y'all hot and bothered? No. Uh, well, now that you mentioned it, maybe a little bothered. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, Herb. Yeah. Don't you think that was just a little cruel? Oh, yeah, but fair. <laughs> He is king of the pig people. Why does he do that? No, no, no. The real question is, is why does Nancy throw herself at a guy like Herb? I mean, God, what does she see in him? I don't know, Donovan. You should have seen him, all right? He was like, he was so mean to her this morning. Yeah, but we don't know the whole story yet, Mona. Yeah, I guess. Hey, Herb! I'd like you to meet the most important man in my life, my daddy. <laughs> Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me, I'm living on the air in Cincinnati, Cincinnati WKRC. Must be everybody. <laughs> How are you? Well, a little pooped after confabbing for five hours on the Concord, but one splash of aqua velva perked me right up. <laughs> so, you're Nancy's father. Well, that's her mother's point of view. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rich Braithwaite. Uh, Arthur Carlson, general manager at WKRP. Pleasure. This is our newscaster, Les Nesman. Uh, and my morning man, Razor D. <laughs> and you sure don't skimp on the good looks department. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> thanks, you know. Try to work out. <laughs> and, uh, what do you do? Oh, oh my daddy can sell anything. <laughs> that's, that's a good job. Well, let's not make me larger in person than I am in real life. Just a salesman, Les. I'm not here to blow my own horn. Herb, I'd like you to meet someone. Sales? Natch. <laughs> you? All right. Game? Hair. Nice. You? Hair. Here? Natch. <laughs> Custom? Mail order. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Herb, Herb, this is my dad. Well, I see he really knows his stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like him. Herb, speaking of stuff, you might be interested in this line I represent. I have here a revolutionary line of hair enhancements and beauty accoutrements. You're going to love this. Uh, anyone want to guess what this is? Oh, uh, watermelon seeds. <laughs> I love this guy. Get him out of here. <laughs> this, my friends, is high-quality, completely natural herbal weight loss drink. Just mix with water, and voila, you lose your desire to ever eat again. Oh, Dad, you're the best. <laughs> be smart, Arthur. Those unwanted pounds could soon be an ugly memory. Oh, gee, I don't know. Uh, well, what am I talking to a bunch of mouth breathers? How many can I put you down for, Arthur? Well, I'm, uh, you just drink this stuff. Huh? Uh, no, first you pay for it, and then you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I can deal with that. Well, look, uh, I'm sure you got a whole mess of good stuff in there, Rich, but uh, you'd probably better spend some time with your daughter. 
Why? She never buys retail. <laughs> I'm kidding. Why don't you take this little uh, swizzle stick as a souvenir? That phone number's been disconnected, but that stick is still very useful. Uh, babe, I have to make a call, but it's too cloudy. I have to use my cellular phone. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Feel free to use my phone. Oh, Herb, I appreciate that. You know I do. I need a little more privacy. You understand, Herbie? Mm-hmm. Business. <laughs> Dad, um, you can use the phone out in the reception area. Is it quiet? Oh, very. Almost no business goes on out there. <laughs> nice. Thanks. 20 pounds overnight. It's a start. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I've practically sold the whole shooting match. Oh, they're buying up everything. Uh, no, sir, I wasn't planning on wiring you the cash right now. Uh, let's see, maybe I've overstated my figures. Uh, I guess I've sold, uh, nothing yet, but... What? You can't fire me, sir. I, I have no place to go. But... Yes, sir. Me too. Finished with your call, Dad? Oh, Nancy. Yes, just checking on dinner reservations. Private dining room is booked, would you know it? <laughs> you know what? You know what I'd really like? I'd like it if you could come by after work so you can get to know my friends a little bit better. Oh, baby, I've got so many big deals pending, I really should hit the road. A lot of people are counting on me. After all, they don't call me Mr. Success for nothing. <laughs> Please? You might sell something. For my little girl, anything. Oh, good. I want to thank you all a lot for coming tonight. Are you sure that you really want to do this? Well, if my dad doesn't make some sales, he's going to lose everything. Yeah, but this is your money. Yeah, and Nancy, you were saving for that fur coat, you know? Faux fur. I can't afford real. Well, I don't quite feel right about this. Yeah, but I don't feel right about my dad losing his job. And he won't take the help if he thinks it's coming from me, so... Well, I don't mind helping out a fellow salesman. As long as it's not my money. Good evening, one and all. Hello, hey. And a very good evening it is. Oh, Dad, I'm so glad you could come down. You know, if it was one person that came up to me, it must have been six people who said, Gee, Nancy, you know, we were all so busy today, we didn't have a chance to study that really fine merchandise your father's selling. Oh, hey, is this my daughter or what? <laughs> That's her. Oh, Mr. Braithwaite, that Nancy's wrong. Right. We all were looking for an opportunity to do a little shopping with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you I have here the most remarkable personal improvement line in the field of grooming today. Hot dang, we'll Hot take day. it. Whoa, not so fast. <laughs> have a seat over there, big guy, well, if uh, I may call you that. Yeah. And close your eyes. Okay, they're closed. <laughs> guarantee this is going to add years to your life. Open your eyes. I don't know. Red? Red is now. Red is today. Red is you. Huh. Well, you know, on my maternal grandmother's side, there was red hair. <laughs> or was it pink eye? <laughs> Of course, this is not just a toupee. It's not? No, it's a hair system, a progressive program of hair replacement units, which gives a natural growing appearance from clip to shaggy to, wow, am I hairy. <laughs> so it's, it's not a toupee, huh? No. Yeah. No, Chief, it's about ten toupees. <laughs> for the price of five. Oh, hey, that's reasonable. So, uh, what'll this do for me? Uh, this'll cover the down. We'll send you a coupon book for the balance. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. You have a fine eye for a bargain there, Les. <laughs> the pivotal piece in the hairless man's wardrobe. He goes from daytime to night with just a dab of moose. Oh, really? Allow me. Oh, I've never been moosed before. <laughs> <laughs> and voila! The daytime working stiff has become the evening's bon vivant. 
And I want that. Winners do. <laughs> well, all right. I'll buy it. You won't be red top. Herb, you're not spending. No, uh, I will. But it'll be on a silk shirt over the Pinedale Mall. No, Herb, it'll be right now. Go. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want for, uh, hair dryer? Well, normally 50 for you, 30. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, well, hey, uh, I wanted that. Oh. Uh, here's 35. Uh, Your bid? 40. <laughs> 50. 10. <laughs> Wait in the car. Uh, I see I'm forced to let go of this baby for 50 simoleons, but don't push so hard. You are a vulture. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> My turn, my turn. Thanks. Uh, Rich, do you happen to have anything for me? Uh, the last thing in the world I want to do is push, Mona. Uh -huh. But let me tell you about Nancy's cousin, Selma. Not an attractive girl. Had a face like a foot. But with my line of face creams and a nose job, she found herself a man. Hell, that's good enough for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're irresistible. Let's go try this. It's... Here, let me take care of that for you, big guy. Oh, you need some mousse, and I need better light. Let's go to the men's room and get that lid on right. Don't bounce too much till we get that thing nailed down. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, man. Aren't you, uh, gonna buy something? Okay, yeah. yeah. Man, hey. man I'm gonna... I guess I'll buy, uh... I'll buy this, uh, leg wax. Ooh, la, la. It's for a friend, Herb. Sure, Donovan, sure. Hey, let's go find some hairy girls. Try this stuff out, huh? Hey. Oh, nice. Look oh. What... Whoa. Hey, wait a second. There must be thousands here. Yo, man. How's a guy who's broken unemployed get this kind of cash, huh? Who is this guy? <laughs> the cops say Rich Braithwaite is a crook. He's wanted in five states. Bunko, forgery, petty theft, and impersonating a kosher butcher. <laughs> Nancy, this, this is terrible. Au contraire, this is great. Is there a reward? Five thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, oh, Herb. Hey, come on. Who's yeah. Nancy's father we're talking about here? So, I say we call the FBI. This rich Braithwaite is a desperado of the lowest sort. Oh, come on, Les. The man moosed your head. What's the big deal? <laughs> the big deal is it's illegal to harbor a fugitive. Once man disregards the law, takes it and twists it into his own hands, anarchy reigns supreme, and there'll be panic in the streets. <laughs> Does anyone normal have a thought? You know, I like your hair, Skipper. Hey, come on, come on, out of here. Oh, look, look, you forget about this reward here. I'm going to talk to Nancy. We'll work it out alone. Just forget about it. Well, just don't tell her about the reward. Herb, Nancy's not going to turn in her own father for reward money. Well, I hope not. It was my idea first. <laughs> hey, Nancy. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking for you. Is there a problem? Well, I guess you could say that. Uh-oh. Something went wrong with the leg wax. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but it, it is about your father. We found out that he's wanted by the law. Again? I thought that was all behind him. He promised after that thing with the asphalt driveways to get washed away in the rain. <laughs> What'd he do? Well, I don't know for sure, but uh, I do know that he's wanted. Well, there's a faction here at the station that wants to turn him in for the reward. Donovan, a girl only gets one dad. Mine may not be the most successful, and, and he may not be the most honest, but... Donovan, he has always loved me. Really, he's always tried his best for me. And I guess, to me, that makes him just about perfect. Yeah, yeah I hear you. Donovan, let me talk to him. Please, I, I, I know him. I can get him to do the right thing. Okay. Okay. Hey, kiddo. Hi, Dad. How's my girl? I, I had a talk with Donovan. Hey, I can explain the leg wax. The leg wax is fine. Really? 
First one. <laughs> Everyone here knows about your police record, Dad. Are they still after you or what? Baby, sometimes when a man has a family to support, he doesn't always do what he wants to do. He does what he has to. Dad, you haven't supported your family in 14 years. Oh, bad example. Dad, if there's more bad stuff you did, turn yourself in. You know, if the police find you, they're going to arrest you. Does everyone know about this? Even Herb? Yeah, but Donovan says he can't keep the reward. Herb knows about the reward? They all do. Dad... Turn yourself in. Serve your time. I want you to get on with your life. Dad, I want us to go to the ice capades together and the petting zoo together. Ah, uh, baby, I'll make it all up to you, I promise. Starting right now. What? I'm going to do something I should have done a long time Whoa, ago. What are you doing? You'll see. I'm calling the police. Daddy. Uh, hello, headquarters. This is Rich Braithwaite calling. Yeah, the criminal. Right now, I'm at uh, radio station WKRP, 14th floor, Flim Building. Now call him. But, but what about Donovan? What about 5,000 cash? Hey, look who dropped in to say goodbye. What? What? Well, I couldn't leave town without paying my respects to Nancy's little family. You're leaving? He's leaving? Yes. He's leaving. Well, how do I say this, Rich? Uh, it was really nice to meet you. Mona, I would say it's been my pleasure, but that sounds so cheap. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> oh, hi, Rich. You know, I don't believe I've told you how much we enjoy having your daughter work here at the station. Well, thank you, and I see you're enjoying your new lease on life, too. You know, I have not ever had so much attention. I bet total strangers come up to you now in amazement. Yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> uh, a little cream on the house. Oh, for my face? Uh, for your rash. Check under the wig in a day or so. <laughs> Keep the good thoughts. Yeah, uh, good luck. Thank you. Uh, you think you can hang around a little while longer? Ah, uh, no can do. Gotta be out on the road, Herb. Mm, I'll bet. Yes, I'll bet as well. Oh, come on, guys. Look, Rich has got a plane to catch, okay? No, when's it leaving? High noon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mona, Donovan, Les, Herb. Mm. <sighs> Just keep on being yourself. Okay. And take care of my Nancy, you know what I mean. Yeah, okay. You know. Yeah, fine. <laughs> All right, let's not say goodbye. Let's just say, I am out of here. 5,000 bucks. Les, don't you have a newscast? Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> See, Herb, don't you feel so much better that you did not call the police on Nancy's father, huh? No, I feel stupid. Opportunity only knocks once. Oh, come on, Herb. You got to have a little faith, man. Maybe Rich is going to walk that straight and narrow path. I think he did the right thing, man. No good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> Mr. Richard Braithwaite? Yeah, I just left. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Richard Braithwaite, you're under arrest. What? <laughs> what is it? Some kind of joke? Uh, joke's on you. You have the right to remain silent. Wait, 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 wait. now, I, I'm not Rich Braithwaite. <laughs> the hair, the face, the plaid. <laughs> your belt matches your shoes. <laughs> it all fits. Come on, let's go. Well, hold on, now, you're making a mistake. I'm Herb Tarlick, and I, I work right here. That's right. Well, we just spoke to Mr. Tarlick in the hall. <laughs> I'll prove it. Hey, nice and easy. Let's see those hands at all times. Okay. Put it on the desk. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I bet you feel pretty stupid about now, huh? But I'm a forgiving kind of guy. Tell what I'm going to do. Driver's you. license, Richard Braithwaite. Social Security, Richard Braithwaite. Magic Kingdom card. Richard Braithwaite. Come on, let's go, Charlie. No, wait a minute. I've been down to the jail. Look, I, you no, know. 
You know, I know the district attorney. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. The booking target knew I was the wrong guy right off the bat. Hey, well, you've been down to jail fairly often this year, Herb. I got a bit to know her. Hey. Mm -hmm. Nice coach you got there, Ness. Isn't it to die for? I finally financed my fun faux fur. Isn't it fabulous, Herbie? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Die, imitation, bighorn sheep. <laughs> I feel like a million bucks in it. You know, I figured you use your fun faux fur funds for your father. Well, Dad and all the money back plus more. T see, man went straight, Herb. He was surrounded by state troopers on the suspension bridge, and he did the right thing and turned himself in. <laughs> Herbie, mm. this is for you. Oh, my wallet. <laughs> oh, and Daddy says he's very sorry about the mistaken identity. And the body search. <laughs> you didn't tell me anything about a body search, Herb. Which end did they start on, cowboy? <laughs> for a studio audience. Well, good morning, Cincinnati. This is a Razor Man, bright and early on your case with a little wake-up music from 10,000 Maniacs. Ah, speaking of maniacs. <laughs> mad man of the morning, Les Nesman is coming your way with all sorts of misinformation right after this. Girls, 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 open all night. 18, okay, free beer for senior citizens. Check out our new pecan pancakes beginning at 8 a.m. at Ali Bimbo, downtown Cincinnati's only topless breakfast bar. <laughs> that is disgusting. Who is responsible for that trash? Good morning, you two radio guys. <laughs> nice tie, Les. No, Herb. No what? Can a guy pass on a compliment without getting the old fish eye? You're not the kind of guy to give out free compliments. You either want a favor or you want money. Now, which is it? Uh, Razor, can you believe this guy? Only off the air. What do you need, her? Nothing much. Uh, I got Lucy a little something. A cruise. Miami to Puerto Rico. Three nights on a boat. Two nights in a luxurious second-class hotel somewhere on the outskirts of San Juan. Ah, uh, yes. Sand and surf and the soft sounds of salsa guitar mixed in with distant bursts of gunfire. Uh, I'm serious. I uh, promised Lucille vacation, and uh, she went out and bought special clothes and everything. Well, what's the problem? You told me when you bought those tickets, payment wasn't due for three months. It was three months ago. Sorry, I would love to help out, but I'm flat, ma'am. Well, I wouldn't like to help, so I won't. Ah, way to pitch in, Les. <laughs> well, Herb has to learn to live within his means. He shouldn't promise Lucille things he can't deliver. Well, what am I supposed to do? Sell something. <laughs> Listen, you're doing everything you can do, so nothing more can be asked of you. That's all I can say to that. Mr. Moran? Yeah? Herb Tarlick, WKRP Radio Sales? You're the one who's always calling my office. Yeah, well, I have to figure it'd be a little more convenient if we could talk here. You mean you're one of us? Oh, uh, well, I, I don't know, but I just know that we need to talk today. Well, great, you're in the right place. We'll talk after the meeting. Okay. Morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. Glad you could all make it. I'm happy to say we uh, have a newcomer with us today, so... Please say hello to Herb. Hi, Herb. Hi, Herb. All right, let's get started. My name is Fred. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. And I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered why. 
whatever became of me. I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati WKRC. Got kind of tired of packing and unpacking. Town to town, up and down the dial. in a while. I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati. I thought these things were just for winos and washed up rock stars. I've been both. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, day or night. I'll be there for you, all right? Okay. Okay. Hi. Anytime, day or night. I'll be there for you. Thanks. I'm Paulette. Three years. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, I'd have taken you to be much older than that. <laughs> um, Excuse me. Oh, hey, Freddie. Uh, yeah. Can we talk? Sure, Herb. You know, <laughs> when you first called the office, I said, oh, boy, there's another white belt jerk trying to hustle some broken down radio station. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Now, uh, I find you're just like me. Mm, absolutely. Well, that's good, isn't it? Makes all the difference in the world. Oh, there you go. Well, anyway, while I'm here, why don't I run down the advantages of uh, advertising Frantic Fred, the fast blast stucco king on WKRP? Later. Today, we want to keep the focus right there on you. All right, everybody. Back from the coffee break. Let's go. Take your seats, please. Good. You know... It's very easy to feel sorry for yourself when you have our disease. But today, I talked to a man who's had the courage to face his problem with alcohol for the very first time. And I'd like for us to hear from him right now. It's all yours, Herb. <laughs> Me? You. Hi. Hi, Herb. Why don't they fall down? Because you're not hitting them. Mr. Richard Braithwaite? Nah, I just left. Yeah. Mr. Richard Braithwaite, you're under arrest. What? What is it, some kind of joke? Uh, joke's on you. You have the right to remain silent. Wait, 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 wait. now, I, I'm not Rich Braithwaite. <laughs> the hair, the face, the plaid. <laughs> your belt matches your shoes. <laughs> it all fits. Come on, let's go. Well, hold on, now, you're making a mistake. I'm Herb Tarlick, and I, I work right here. That's right. Well, we just spoke to Mr. Tarlick in the hall. <laughs> I'll prove it. Hey, nice and easy. Let's see those hands at all times. Okay. Put it on the desk. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I bet you feel pretty stupid about now, huh? But I'm a forgiving kind of guy. I tell what I'm going to do. Driver's for license, Richard Braithwaite. Social Security, Richard Braithwaite. Magic Kingdom card. Richard Brayton. Come on, let's go, Charlie. No, wait a minute. I've been down to the jail. Look, I, you, no. know, you know, I know the district attorney. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. The booking sergeant knew I was the wrong guy right off the bat. Hey, well, you've been down to jail fairly often this year, huh? I got a Vincent, though, huh? Hey. Mm -hmm. Nice coach you got there, man. Isn't it to die for? I finally financed my fun faux fur. Isn't it fabulous, Herbie? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Die, imitation, bighorn sheep. <laughs> I feel like a million bucks in it. You know, I figured to use your fun faux fur funds for your father. Well, that's and all the money back plus more. See, man went straight, Herb. He was surrounded by state troopers on the suspension bridge. And he did the right thing and turned himself in. <laughs> Herbie, mm. this is for you. Oh, my wallet. <laughs> oh, and Daddy says he's very sorry about the mistaken identity. And the 
body search. You didn't tell me anything about a body search, Hurt. Which end did they start on, cowboy? <laughs> about a body search, her. Which end did they start on, cowboy? <laughs> for a studio audience. Well, good morning, Cincinnati. This is a Razor Man, bright and early on your case with a little wake-up music from 10,000 Maniacs. Ah, speaking of maniacs. <laughs> Mad man of the morning, Les Nesman is coming your way with all sorts of misinformation right after this. Girls, 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 open all night. 18, okay, free beer for senior citizens. Check out our new pecan pancakes beginning at 8 a.m. at Ali Bimbo, downtown Cincinnati's only topless breakfast bar. That is disgusting. Who is responsible for that trash? Good morning, you two radio guys. <laughs> Knife Silas. No, Herb. No what? Can a guy pass on a compliment without getting the old fish eye? You're not the kind of guy to give out free compliments. You either want a favor or you want money. Now, which is it? Uh, Razor, can you believe this guy? Only off the air. What do you need, her? Nothing much. Uh, I got Lucy a little something. A cruise. Miami to Puerto Rico. Three nights on a boat. Two nights in a luxurious second-class hotel. Somewhere on the outskirts of San Juan. Ah, uh, yes. Sand and surf and the soft sounds of salsa guitar mixed in with distant bursts of gunfire. <laughs> uh, I, I'm serious. I uh, promised Lucille a vacation and uh, she went out and bought special clothes and everything. Well, what's the problem? You told me when you bought those tickets, payment wasn't due for three months. It was three months ago. Well, I'm sorry. I would love to help out, but I'm flat, ma'am. Well, I wouldn't like to help, so I won't. Ah, way to pitch in, Les. <laughs> well, Herb has to learn to live within his means. He shouldn't promise Lucille things. I have here the most remarkable personal improvement line in the field of grooming today. Hot dang, we'll oh, take it. Day. Whoa, not so fast. <laughs> Have a seat over there, big guy, Close. if uh, I may call you that. Yeah. And close your eyes. Okay, they're closed. <laughs> I guarantee this is going to add years to your life. Open your eyes. Ooh. I don't know. Red? Red is now. Red is today. Red is you. Huh. Well, you know, on my maternal grandmother's side, there was red hair. <laughs> or was it pink eye? <laughs> of course, this is not just a toupee. It's not? No. It's a hair system. A progressive program of hair replacement units, which gives a natural growing appearance from clip to shaggy to, wow, am I hairy. <laughs> So it's, it's not a toupee, huh? No. Yeah. No, Chief, it's about ten toupees. 
but for the price of five. Oh, hey, that's reasonable. So, uh, uh, what'll this do for me? Uh, this'll cover the down. We'll send you a coupon book for the balance. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. You have a fine eye for a bargain there, Les. <laughs> the pivotal piece in the hairless man's wardrobe. He goes from daytime to night with just a dab of moose. Oh, really? Allow me. Well, I've never been moosed before. <laughs> <laughs> and voila! The daytime working stiff has become the evening's bon vivant. And I want that? Winners do. <laughs> well, all right, I'll buy it. Hey, you won't be ready. Ah. Herb, you're not standing. Uh, I will. But it'll be on a silk shirt over the Pine Del Mall. No, Herb, it'll be right now. Go. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want for, uh, hair dryer? Well, normally 50 for you, 30. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, well, hey, uh, I wanted that. Oh. Uh, here's 35. Your bid? 40. <laughs> 50. 10. <laughs> Wait in the car. Uh, I see I'm forced to let go of this baby for 50 simoleons, but don't push so hard. You are a vulture. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> My turn, my turn. No, thanks. Uh, Rich, do you happen to have anything for me? Uh, the last thing in the world I want to do is push, Mona. Uh -huh. But let me tell you about Nancy's cousin, Selma. Not an attraction. <laughs> of course, this is not just a toupee. It's not? No, it's a hair system. A progressive program of hair replacement units, which gives a natural growing appearance from clip to shaggy to, wow, am I hairy. <laughs> So it's, it's not a toupee, huh? No. Yeah. No, Chief, it's about ten toupees. <laughs> but for the price of five. Oh, hey, that's reasonable. So uh, uh, what'll this do for me? Uh, this will cover the down. We'll send you a coupon book for the balance. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. You have a fine eye for a bargain there, Les. <laughs> the pivotal piece in the hairless man's wardrobe. He goes from daytime to night with just a dab of moose. Oh, really? Allow me. Well... I've never been moosed before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and voila! Oh. The daytime working stiff has become the evening's bon vivant. And I want that? Winners do. <laughs> well, all right, I'll buy it. You won't be ready. Herb, you're not standing. Uh, I will. But it'll be on a silk shirt over the Pine Del Mall. No, Herb, it'll be right now. Go. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want for, uh, hair dryer? Well, normally 50 for you, 30. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, well, hey, uh, I wanted that. Oh. Now, here's 35. Hey. Your bid? 40. <laughs> 50. Ten. <laughs> Wait in the car. Uh, I see I'm forced to let go of this baby for 50 simoleons, but don't push so hard. You are a vulture. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> my turn, my turn. No, thanks. Uh, Rich, do you happen to have anything for me? Uh, the last thing in the world I want to do is push, Mona. Uh -huh. But let me tell you about Nancy's cousin, Selma. Not an attractive girl. Had a face like a foot, but with my line of face creams and a nose job, she found herself a man. Hell, that's good enough for me. Oh, Dad, you're irresistible. Let's go try this. Here, right. hey, let me take care of that for you, big guy. Oh, you need some moose, and I need better light. Let's go to the men's room and get that lid on right. Don't bounce too much till we get that thing nailed down. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, man. Aren't you, uh, gonna buy something? Okay, yeah. 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 Hey, man, I'm gonna... I guess I'll buy, uh... I'll buy this, uh, leg wax. Ooh la la. It's for a friend, Herb. Sure, Donovan, sure. Hey, let's go find some hairy girls. Try this stuff out, huh? Hey. Oh, nice. Look oh, look. whoa. Hey, we're barely off in this year, Herb. Hi, Donovan. Hello, Herb. Hey. Mm -hmm. Nice coach you got there, man. Isn't it to die for? I finally financed my fun faux fur. Isn't it fabulous, Herbie? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Da 
Hi. Imitation bighorn sheep. I feel like a million bucks in it. You know, I figured you use your fun full fur funds for your father. Well, Dad sent all the money back plus more. See, man went straight, Herb. He was surrounded by state troopers on the suspension bridge, and he did the right thing and turned himself in. <laughs> Herbie, hmm. this is for you. Oh, my wallet. <laughs> oh, and Daddy says he's very sorry about the mistaken identity. And the body search. <laughs> Tell me anything about a body search, her. Which end did they start on, cowboy? for a studio audience. Well, good morning, Cincinnati. This is the Razor Man, bright and early on your case with a little wake-up music from 10,000 Maniacs. Ah, speaking of maniacs. <laughs> Mad Man of the Morning, Les Nesman is coming your way with all sorts of misinformation right after this. Girls, 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 open all night. 18, okay, free beer for senior citizens. Check out our new pecan pancakes beginning at 8 a.m. at Ali Bimbo, downtown Cincinnati's only topless breakfast bar. That is disgusting. Who is responsible for that trash? Good morning, you two radio guys. <laughs> now, if I left, no, Herb. No what? Can a guy pass on a compliment without getting the old fish eye? You're not the kind of guy to give out free compliments. You either want a favor or you want money. Now, which is it? Uh, do you believe this guy? Only off the air. What do you need, Herb? <laughs> Nothing much. Uh, I got Lucy a little something. A cruise. Miami to Puerto Rico. Three nights on a boat. Two nights in a luxurious second-class hotel. Somewhere on the outskirts of San Juan. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Sand and surf and the soft sounds of salsa guitar mixed in with distant bursts of gunfire. Uh, I'm serious. I uh, promised Lucille vacation and uh, she went out and bought special clothes and everything. Well, what's the problem? You told me when you bought those tickets, payment wasn't due for three months. It was three months ago. Well, I'm sorry. I would love to help out, but I'm flat, ma'am. Well, I wouldn't like to help. So I won't. Ah, way to pitch in, Les. <laughs> well, Herb has to learn to live within his means. He shouldn't promise Lucille things he can't deliver. Well, what am I supposed to do? Sell something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're doing everything you can do, so nothing more can be asked of you. That's all I can say to you. Mr. Moran? Yeah? Herb Tarlick, WKRP Radio Sales? You're the one who's always calling my office. Yeah, well, I have to figure it'd be a little more convenient if we could talk here. You mean you're one of us? Oh, uh, well, I, I don't know, but I just know that we need to talk today. Well, great, you're in the right place. We'll talk after the meeting. Okay. Morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. Glad you could all make it. I'm happy to say we uh, have a newcomer with us today, so... Please say hello to Herb. Hi, Herb. Hi, Herb. All right, let's get started. My name is Fred. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. And I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me. I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati WKRC. down the dial.
I thought these things were just for winos and washed up rock stars. I've been both. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, day or night. I'll be there for you, all right? Okay. Okay. Hi. Anytime, day or night, I'll be there for you. Thanks. I'm Paulette. Three years. Really? Mm. Now, I'd have taken you to be much older than that. 